name's Josh Salisbury. I'm an investment banking interview coach. Today, what I'd like to cover with you is five common mistakes that candidates make in investment banking interviews. There are many mistakes that one can make in an investment banking interview, but I selected a few of my favorites for today's discussion. Uh, number one is be sure to answer the question. Investment bankers are extremely impatient by background or nature. And if an investment banker asks you why you chose to go to Columbia University, answer the question why you chose to go to Columbia University. This is a bigger problem than you may realize. And, uh, and so focus on the question and answer the question. The second mistake, and this is very related to the first mistake, is don't ramble. And as a general rule of thumb, the way that I address this when I coach is I suggest that for any question, you respond with a maximum of two components to your response. No one wants to listen to a laundry list kind of response. Investment bankers, by their nature, have pretty short attention spans, I know I do. And so if you're asked a question, what do you think of the macro economy? What's your viewpoint? Pick two things. For example, you might say, well, first, I think that there's likely going to be an upward trend in interest rates. And you might talk about that. And then two, uh, I think that uh, shocks to the supply chain currently, including the chip shortage, are likely to cause an increase in inflation. Great answer. Two pieces. I call it left shoe, right shoe. Whatever question you get, have two responses, not 10 responses. The, uh, the third uh, mistake is to not understand your finance. It's a big, big mistake if you're interviewing with an investment bank. But what I really mean by that is Many people can, uh, through coaching or through reading background materials, understand the different valuation methodologies, discounted cash flow analyses, accretion dilution. The real dilemma starts if the investment banker asks you to think on your feet. So for example, one of my favorite questions is if you plot the relationship between uh, the percentage of debt uh, in the capital structure on the x-axis and the weighted average cost of capital on the y-axis, what does that line look like? And so you want to be able to understand your finance well enough to be able to respond to the myriad kind of offshoot questions uh, that could come up in the interview that really are the investment banker's uh, goal or objective to just see if you can think and respond to questions and if you know your stuff. Um, the fourth uh, mistake is to not be aware of what's going on in the market. Now, that would be a pretty broad requirement, but let me make that a little bit uh, uh, simpler to manage. If you're interviewing with the tech group or the FIG group or the natural resources group, be sure that you've Googled a recent deal. For example, last year, a deal that many people were following was the LVMH acquisition of Tiffany's, right? It was a protracted deal. Uh, it began to fall apart during COVID, but it was certainly a topic of discussion. Um, and uh, another popular deal to uh, follow was Salesforce's acquisition of Slack. So no a deal. Uh, so that the investment banker says, so tell me about your interest in the space and a deal that you're uh, aware of, you can, you can talk about something that's going on in the market. You don't have to know every deal, but certainly be aware of at least one deal so you can make some conversation about it. And then lastly, I recommend that all candidates have um, one or two questions that they can ask the interviewer uh, at the end of the interview. And uh, uh, my recommendation is always to keep it simple. Your job as the candidate is to not put the interviewer to work. So 
Uh, you don't want to ask a question like, so I hear there's an SEC investigation into, you know, part of your operation. Do you care to comment? Probably not a good interview question, even if it's true. And maybe you want to think about a different investment bank, but uh, good questions are, so what do you love most about your job? Why did you choose to work at JP Morgan or Morgan Stanley or Goldman Sachs or Evercore or wherever? Uh, so uh, those are some things to, uh, to think about. Uh, there are many other mistakes one can make, uh, but those are some highlights of, of things that I've seen as I've interviewed over a thousand candidates and coached hundreds of, of people in the investment banking interview process. I wish you the best of luck.